Hello, this is Mark with Coldesi, and I'm here to talk about the latest technology in digital transfers and show you how to make amazing t-shirts with bright colors, bright white, with the latest printer from the Digital Heat Effects line. That's the Digital Heat Effects 9541. This is a powerhouse printer and the best transfer printer in the world, period. There's nothing like it. Two reasons take it above the top above anything else out there in the market. One would be just the sheer size of the transfer. This is going to create a 13 by 19 inch transfer, the sheet that the transfer sheet you can run through it is 13 by 19 inches. So it's the largest transfer print 130 plus percent more than any other one out there and, and second place, you know, the second best printer, it's 130 percent more paper that you can run through there, which means a bigger print or more transfers on when you're doing multiple transfers in one sheet. So let me show you some other samples and examples of what this can do to really focus in on the second feature, which is the colors that you can get out of the 9541. The reason you can get so many colors, they're so vibrant and they're so bright, and you can get really rich blacks, true, true rich blacks like this on light colored garments is because this is a five channel system. It is the first time that a transfer printer prints out of five channels. What does that mean? That means this is a black cyan, magenta, yellow, and white printer. It prints all five channels in one single pass. So in a single step, you can have tons of colors on one transfer ready to go and it happens in seconds. So it's super fast. It is really powerful. It's virtually maintenance free to replace toners. You know, literally you pull it out, you put it in. There's not much work into maintaining the machine. And the system itself combines with our print optimizer software. You'll take a graphic, push it through print optimizer that will convert and optimize the graphic for your toner transfer printer. The five channel prints will come out and you end up with transfers like this. So here's an example of a full size transfer that can be done. This is about uh, 12 and a half by eight and a half approximately. And we've printed two of them on one sheet. I also printed out the graphic I was showing you before. So I'm gonna demonstrate what the next step is. So it comes out of your printer, you go over to your heat press, you've got it set to 265 degrees. You put your transfer down. We'll go ahead and we'll grab uh, what we refer to as our B sheet or it's our polymer sheet. This is where the, this is kind of the magic sheet. This is where the adhesive lives. This is how we bond it to the garment. And this can stick to all different types of materials. So if you want to do cotton shirts, polyester shirts, light colors, dark colors, it works on all of them. So let's go ahead and get this going and I'll show you a couple other things while this is cooking. So I'm going to put it there for 100 seconds. While that's going, let me show you uh, another one. This is another about that same size, somewhere around the 12, 12 and a half by eight size transfer. And we put this on a tank. So you, you can see here just how powerful it is and how big these transfers really are. I mean, this takes up the whole top of that tank. Here's another one we did. This is a 100% polyester shirt. So this is uh, like a cool dry, a, a Hanes cool dry shirt. So it's that very sports outdoor moisture wick type of material. The colors come out amazing on this material and it works on light and dark of these type of materials as well as light and dark on cotton and blends. Another one, Another feature I should say that's that's a big deal is being able to print on things that are not typical textiles, not not just t-shirts and sweaters and hoodies and tank tops, but this is a soccer ball. We used a ball press and put a transfer right onto here. I've also got a mirror. So we've done it on glass, koozie, 
You can put it on wood, cardboard. There's tons of things you can take these transfers and adhere them to, which makes it an extremely versatile printer. So the print system itself, the digital heat effect system is vastly versatile than many other different technologies out there. And in addition to that, it's fairly simple on the steps. You print, you're married, then you adhere. And we'll show that step now. So we're gonna open our heat press up, put our paper aside. And in a smooth motion, we're gonna separate the polymer sheet from the transfer sheet. And we just pull it like this. And we do it kind of, we keep it warm. And our transfer sheet, this is done. And we end up with the transfer that's ready to either be stored for use later, to be sold to, a, to somebody wholesale who wants to actually purchase transfers, or to actually just go ahead and, and put it right to the garment. So let's get a t-shirt, put the transfer on. One step that I did ahead with this one is we trim the edge. This way any of that polymer adhesive that could have gotten caught in the edges while we're heat pressing is gone. It doesn't end up on the shirt. So I've trimmed this one from before. I've got a t-shirt. And we're gonna leave the temperature the same in this case. And it's gonna take 30 seconds to bond it to the garment. So here we are. So do the same process, put this on. And you can use heat tape to hold it in place. You could do the front and back of a garment as well. What's great is that um, once you get the transfer stuck on there, um, that it's got nice durability. It looks really just beautiful. The colors pop off the shirt and it's got just a fantastic versatility. That's one thing that I constantly am talking about. People ask me online um, or through email or people will comment on videos and, and ask, can it do this? Can it do this? And the it's so remarkable how oftentimes we're like, we haven't tried that yet. Let's try it out. And it's more times yes than no. So this is a cool peel process. So what that means is we're going to take our garment and put it aside. And we're going to let that cool off. Now, if you're in, in your production, typically what people do in the transfer production is they will print. So print their 20 or 30 sheets do their marrying of their 20 or 30 sheets, put them aside, trim, separate, whatever they've got to do, and then um, adhere it all, put them aside, and then as they cool, you, you take the transfer off. So while that's cooling for a second, I'll show you something else that I love about having such a large print is when we've got stuff like this. So we've got 15 logos along set with the phone number and web URL. So if this was going on shirts as a left chest logo, and then maybe, you know, the phone number and email and a web address on the back, we've got 15 shirts on one sheet. So the, these costs change a piece to be able to create, and you do it all in just a few minutes. 15 transfers essentially have been created in just a few minutes. So the last step that I'm gonna do here Is, uh, is our peel off. And I'll go ahead and I'll bring you up close so you can see this one. So our transfer's cooled off. Basically just get it back to room temperature. And with the easy, this is our easy peel paper, the digital heat effects easy peel paper. We just do a one quick swoop right off and we just rip it off. Kind of, uh, it's referred to just rip it off like a Band-Aid. So we'll grab our shirt, grab that off. and our shirt is almost done. There's one more step we do, which is a finishing step. As you can see, um, you can't feel it, but you could probably see it, that it's got a gloss to it right now. It's a high shine. So what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and further embed it into the garment and get that 
shine away. So let's go back to our heat press. So we're back at our heat press for the final step. Put it down, the finishing sheet. This is what's gonna give it a nice texture and, and as we put pressure into it, it's gonna also push it into the shirt and get it to look and feel awesome. Now, uh, this last step, on this particular paper and shirt, I'm doing it for 20 seconds. And uh, depending which uh, you're working with, you may be doing a little bit longer. You may be adjusting the temperature a little bit. Really depends on what you're working with, but we'll help you along with all that. For the most part though, most everything is done at one temperature in time. And that's it. So just a few minutes to go from printed transfer right to the t-shirt and ready to fold this up and deliver to your customer or hand it to them right there. So fantastic for small run jobs, fantastic for high colors. And with the power behind the 9541, you can get into larger and larger and larger jobs. As we showed with the example with 15 different logos on it, you can create a ton of transfers. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video on the Digital Heat Effects 9541. And please visit digitalheateffects.com or call and talk to one of our pros to learn more about everything Digital Heat Effects can do and the power behind the 9541. Thank you.